everyone, it's Alexis, and today officially marks my fifth year anniversary of running LJC. It's so crazy to be here because it's like when I started LJC, I never knew what the future looked like, and to see how fast five years has gone by has been completely crazy. I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but I never knew exactly what I would do, and it's kind of funny because I had absolutely no jewelry experience at all when I started LJC so literally as I started this small business I was also simultaneously like learning how to make my products and just how to run a business and everything else and even when I started it wasn't even like a business business it was just like I'm 17 years old nobody wants to give me a chance because I'm a baby with no experience and I don't have a license and I just I just need some money in these last few years it has been an absolute roller coaster I've had high points I've had low points I've been able to do different opportunities and then there's been days when I mean literally I couldn't even have my business open because I was in school or stressed or times when maybe I had it open I just didn't even get an order so I mean I've literally experienced so many good points bad points I've had days where I felt on cloud nine and days where I just felt like why am I even doing this <laughs> sometimes I want to give up and I'm so glad that I did it even in my low points I still saw the potential in both me and my small business and I'm so glad that I never let those moments get to me or make me feel like maybe this is a waste of my time or that things wouldn't progress to a good point I think that with small business you understand that you are taking a chance and for me even though this has been a big risk and it has been a financial investment and everything else time investment it has given me so much more than it's taken from me if that makes sense I've learned so much I've literally grown with my business I have been better with my time management I've been better with my patience I have learned so much about jewelry and just even like small things that I've picked up I didn't even realize that I just know top of my head like I can tell you about sterling silver and like the different kinds and like <laughs> Why did you get this type of costume jewelry because this won't rust or this won't oxidize or it's just stuff like that that you just learn with time. Again, just being able to have something to share with people. I've been able to connect with so many people who are jewelry lovers or interested in also having a small business. I have paid more attention to other small businesses and trying to be more supportive of them. Something as small as a follow and the like does mean so much to a small business. Again, being in my position, like I get it a lot more than I did before. I think that in life, a lot of times when people have perceivable failures, they feel intimidated or fearful and they shut down and they just don't want to do it anymore. But I think that every time I hit that bump in the road with LJC, that I felt I felt more motivated in a sense. Like I let myself have my bad moments. Sometimes I've cried. <laughs> I let myself have my bad moments. But I picked myself up. I kept going. And I never let that stop me from getting anywhere. And with each of those perceivable failures, I learned and I grew. And I think that that's the key to any type of small business or just any type of endeavor or just life period. Like you're always learning and growing and you never stop learning and growing. There's been times where I've had no engagement on social media. Instead of being defeated, I tried to figure out what works, what doesn't work, and I grew. There's been times when, I mean, I literally had no sales. What did I do differently when I didn't make a sale? How did I reach an audience? So I always kept going, kept growing. I've learned that having a small business is a lot like having a newborn toddler. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of stress. There are times where you're going to be up way past when you want to be. Times where you want to cry. Times where you're like, why did I put myself in this position? But in the end, it's so worth it. So if you're someone who you are thinking about starting a small business or continue your small business, whatever case may be, go for it. Things will work out. I believe in you. And with that being said, I'm so happy to be sitting here saying that I've been doing this for five years. I love being a entrepreneur. I love being a crafter, a jewelry maker, and everything. I just appreciate you all. So thank you guys for supporting me in these years. If you guys want to support me even more, you can purchase my beautiful handmade goods. Or you can follow me on social media. All that I appreciate. Thank you guys so much. And I hope for another great five years. Bye.